Greetings, Servians. Chaos here. Last week, I held a poll in my YouTube community tab to see what you all would like me to build for this week's time lapse video. At a whopping 48%, the overwhelming majority of you voted for a steampunk build. I also saw some comments requesting an airship specifically. Since I've never built a steampunk airship before, I thought I might try my hand at a zeppelin for this week's time lapse. I do want to hold a poll for next week's time lapse, and I'll likely continue doing this for the foreseeable future just so I know that I'm building what the majority of you would like to see, but this week I won't be holding the poll on the community tab. Instead, I'm going to be holding it on my Discord server, so if you'd like to participate in the poll to determine what build I'm going to be doing next Monday, you can find a link to my Discord in the description below. And the poll will show up in the next day or two, so keep an eye out. As far as the Zeppelin goes, I wanted to make sure that I had a nice glass kind of dome at the beginning uh, for the bridge. And I'm kind of stretching out and just getting the basic uh, size and shape. I know I want it to have two decks and be relatively long, but not too, too big. And I do want this to be valid NPC housing. The majority of my materials this time around are going to be using heavy on tin, tin plating, uh, tin brick, that is tin brick, tin plating, copper plating, uh, all of those will be unpainted. I have some dynasty wood accents that's painted with orange paint just to make it look a little bit more rested. I also have a lot of cogs and adamantite beams painted gray and the glass itself is actually painted with some lime paint. And while it's a minor detail that you might not really notice at first glance, when you do look closely at it, it kind of gives it a, a little foggy texture and it really makes the glass pop. So what I'm doing down here for the fins right now is I'm making a lattice. And the lattice is made out of brown painted wooden fence blended in with pearl wood fence, alternating each and every one, which when you combine those two fences in that pattern, it makes a, a really nice looking lattice design. Now I'm carving out the back of the Zeppelin where I'm actually going to be placing a couple of propellers and the engine room will be in the back as well along with the boiler room. I try a combination of different materials for the propellers. In the end I decide to stick with some cog with uh, tin plating painted gray for the blades and then for the shaft of the propeller I decided to go with some living wood painted gray with some adamantite beam at intersection points. I also actuate one half of the blades in an alternating pattern and hook them up to some wiring and to a one second timer so they give the illusion that they're spinning. Now I'm just laying down some pipeworks for the engine room, which will be connected to the steamer, which will be connected to the boiler room. And obviously this doesn't really do anything, it just gives an aesthetic, but I figured since this is a steampunk build, why not have some steam? In the engine room, I'm going to be using some uh, tin plating wall, unpainted, some copper pipe wallpaper painted gray, some cog wall just for uh, moving parts, and then the pipes themselves are made out of dynasty wood painted uh, gray for now, though I do end up painting them orange just to make them pop a little bit later. The glass again is painted lime, and behind that is some disc wall painted gray. The same thing goes for the boiler itself. I do have two campfires to produce the fires. 
and I'm going to also place some chimneys above them to produce the steam itself. I attempted to do something with bubble machines but wasn't quite happy with them, so decided to go with the chimney instead. I don't know why, for me, for some reason, when I think of a steampunk airship, I think there needs to be a spiral staircase in there, so I just threw one into the engine room just for good measure. The floor is made out of some brown painted rich mahogany, and there's also some wall segments that are made out of tin brick. I do make a window here with some lime painted glass surrounded by a circle of living wood that has been actuated. Now I'm setting up the bedrooms or the living spaces for the NPCs. As I said, I do want this to be a valid NPC kind of uh, apartment in a way. So there's going to be six valid NPC housing uh, spaces right in this Zeppelin. The top row has more of the round windows. The top and the bottom both have pipeworks running through it. And then the bottom level is going to be mostly a storage aesthetic. Once the housing part of the Zeppelin is complete, I decide to move on to the air part, the blip part itself. So I lay another row of cog with adamantite beam uh, as a bracing, and then a row of copper plating on top of that where the balloon will be attached to. I also wanted some rope segments holding the two together, and while you can place rope at diagonals, it doesn't usually look all that great, but I do find that if you use brown painted uh, rich mahogany wand and you slope those at an angle, it does look quite similar to rope and it makes for a, a decent substitute. And then the vertical segments themselves are literally just rope painted brown to match with the uh, living rich mahogany. The balloon itself is going to be made out of some stucco on the outside edges so that I could round it nice and smooth. And then the inside will be made with uh, some white stucco walls that blend in and match with the exterior actuated stucco block. Once the wall was placed, 
I quickly went into T-Edit and grabbed the upper left hand corner of the chimneys that I used and placed them in a few various locations around the build just to produce more steam. Once I got back in game, I decided to work on some more propellers on the back half of the balloon itself just for some added added aesthetics and I do wire that up to the one second timer as well. I do add two more wooden latticed fins to the back just to make it look a little bit more maneuverable or controllable and just because I do like the way that fins on Zeppelins look. Once the fins are done, I decide to add some bracing to the balloon to just make it look like it has something holding it and kind of supporting the shape of it a little bit better. So I'm using some brown painted Dynasty wood for this. Additionally, I decide to uh, add some vertical support. And in this case, I decide that the balloon is a little too dark for my taste. So instead of using some more Dynasty wood, I switch to Rich Mahogany Fence, which lets some light pour in, which really uh, gives the uh, Zeppelin a lot more visibility to the center part of it. It's not so much shadow and darkness anymore. And that's how I'm going to wrap up the rest of the build. And that is the steampunk zeppelin which I've dubbed the equinox done. I hope you guys enjoyed the time lapse build. If you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment. It really does help me out and I really do appreciate and enjoy reading all of the feedback. If you'd like to participate in the poll for next week's time lapse, be sure to check out the description below to find out how to join my Discord server where you can participate in the poll. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll catch you all later. Happy building.